Hey everybody, thank you for joining me again today for another hymn sing. The songs we're going to look at today all focus on who God is, on His holiness, on His greatness. And so I, I know it's going to be a blessing for you as you sing along. We're also going to read some scripture out of the book of Judges. And it's amazing there's some comparison uh, as to what happened in the book of Judges and what's going on right now in the world. And so we'll look at that uh, very briefly in a few moments. But for right now, let's, let's pray and then let's sing some hymns. Heavenly Father, we, we come before you and we're so grateful for your love. And I pray that as we worship you during this time, Lord, you'd be with us. Your presence would be with us. No matter where we're at, no matter what we're doing, that your presence would be with us and that we would be able to worship you in your holiness, in your greatness, and in your majesty today. Lord, we love you and we thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, if you got the Baptist hymnal, we're going to be starting on page two. Um, holy, holy, holy. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to such a uh, powerful hymn, such a great hymn, and I'm so glad we got to start off with it today, focusing on God, thinking about God and His holiness and how holy He is. The next song I want to sing is page four uh, in the Baptist hymnal. It's a song called, To God Be the Glory. To God be the glory, great things He hath done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son, and yielded his life and atonement for sin, and opened the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father. Through Jesus the Son And give Him the glory Great things He has 
have done Oh perfect redemption The purchase of blood To every believer The promise of God The vilest offender Who truly believes That moment from Jesus A pardon receives Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory, great things he hath done. Great things he hath taught us, great things he hath done, and great our rejoicing through Jesus the Son. But purer and higher and greater will be our wonder, our victory when Jesus we see. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father, through Jesus the Son, and give Him the glory, great things He has done. Amen. I added the Amen just because it's in the hymnal. And we did that all the time growing up. We'd get to the end of the song, and the song leader would be like, oh, man, the big organ would play and everything. I mean, I loved it. A great way to end, end those hymns um, in agreeing with what we just sang and saying, yes, we agree. Um, the next hymn we want to do is called How Great Thou Art. It's on page 10 of the hymnal. And, uh, man, uh, we switched from... This, we switch from focusing on God and His holiness and that all the glory would belong to Him and to Him be all the glory. And now we move into saying, God, you're so great and we worship you because you are so great. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, Thy power throughout the universe displays. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee, How great Thou art, how great Thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. And when I think that God His Son not sparing sent Him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, He bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee, How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. And when Christ shall come with a shout of acclamation and take me home, what joy shall fill my heart Then I shall bow In humble adoration And there proclaim 
My God, how great Thou art It sings my soul, my Savior God to Thee How great Thou art How great Thou art It sings my soul, my Savior God to Thee How great Thou art Sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. It sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. It's hard not to love that song too, right? Oh, I love that song. It's so good. Uh, the last hymn I'm going to do with you today before we uh, read some scripture is called Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. Come thou fount of every blessing To my heart to sing thy praise Streams of mercy Never ceasing, call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet, sung by flaming tongues above. Praise the mountain fixed upon it, mount of thy To grace, how great a debtor Daily I'm constrained to be Let thy grace, Lord, like a fetter Bind my wandering heart to thee Prone to wonder, Lord, I feel it Prone to leave the God I And seal it, seal it for thy courts above. Well, here's my heart, Lord. Take and seal it, seal it for thy courts above. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for who you are. Because it's who you are that helps you to love us so much. It helps you to show us mercy every day. Lord, I pray for those that are out there that are nervous, that are scared. I pray for those that, that just need encouragement. I pray for those who spiritually and physically and mentally need your energy to, uh, to strengthen them, your, your hand to be upon them. And so I pray you give them strength. I pray you give them energy today. I pray that this, this time of worship, be it short, uh, Lord, that it would be a blessing. And I pray that this passage of Scripture we read together would be something that would challenge us and encourage us to, to keep our head up and to keep moving on and to keep showing others the love that only you have for us. So help us to love one another. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's take a moment and just look in a passage of Scripture out of the book of Judges, chapter 3, verse 31. It says this, After him was Shamgar, the son of Anath, who killed 600 Philistines with an ox goad, and he saved Israel. How's that supposed to be a reassuring and comforting <laughs> scripture for us right now? Well, uh, here's what I think. I think Israel, over and over and over again during the period of the judges, had this thing happen where there would be an, a nation that would come and oppress them. It would cause Israel to... Um, to be afraid, it would cause Israel to fear for their lives. It would cause Israel to stay, stay uh, tucked away, uh, hidden, so that as not to be uh, caught off guard by an enemy. 
um, and it caused them to fear. Uh, fear for their children, fear for their, their well-being, their financial well-being, their future, their food, all those things. Uh, and in this time, uh, it was just like that. We see in Judges 5, 6, uh, where Deborah is, is talking, uh, it says, In the days of Shamgar, son of Anath, and in the days of Jael, who was another judge, uh, the highways were abandoned and the travelers kept to the byways. Um, this showing that, that, man, people were fearful. They were trying to hide from the oppressing nation, the, the, the Philistines in this case, and that um, they were trying to find alternate ways to survive. And, and I think that sounds a lot like us. We're, we're uh, as, as a country and as a world, um, fearful, uh, fearful, leave, afraid to leave our houses, um, fearful of, of what might happen to us, fearful for our, our, our families, feel fearful uh, for our, our food and our toilet paper, where it might come from, if we're going to have it. Um, and so I think it's a, it's a setting, th- it's, it's, a, it's a very uh, similar setting uh, for us. Even though theirs is an oppressing nation, ours is an oppressing virus. And so um, Shamgar uh, says in, in verse 31 that he killed 600 Philistines with an ox goad and saved Israel. Now, we're not going to go kill 600 Philistines, um, but the, the principles here uh, are that Shamgar did something that was noteworthy enough um, that, that it was recorded in Scripture, what he did. And so uh, here's kind of the secrets of Shamgar that I'm going to share with you. Um, he started where he was. So if, if you're going to be like Shamgar, you got to start where you are. You start where you are. Uh, he was in the field along the byways where people were, were uh, seeing. He saw injustice. He saw something happening that he didn't, he said that can't be anymore happening that way. And so he did something about it. And so that's where you got to ask yourself, what's something that I see needs to change? And okay, now I'm going to do something about it. Uh, so Shamgar, uh, the, se- the second secret of Shamgar is this, use what you have. Uh, Shamgar used what he had. In this case, he had an ox goat. He was a farmer. Uh, he would have had uh, an, an ox or, more, one, or, or two that, that uh, he would have driven, he would have used uh, to plow fields or to do different things with uh, farming. And he had an ox goat, a long stick with a point on one end and a sharp uh, blade kind of thing on the other end. And, and uh, he used that to stop 600 Philistines, which was a whole military uh, unit. Uh, that they would have been a division of military uh, that would have been out there. And so he used what he had. And so the question here for you is what gifts or abilities or talents do you have that you can use to to do something about that injustice you see or that thing that just can't happen anymore, that just something has to happen about this? Um, uh, what can you use that you have? And the third secret that Sham, uh, of Shamgar is this, do what you can. And so it, the, there, here's the three. Start where you are. Use what you have, do what you can. Shamgar did what he could. He took care of the Philistines that were in that military division close by. Um, and there, therefore, he rescued Israel, delivered Israel from this, uh, this force that was coming in and wreaking havoc and scaring uh, villagers and, and Israelites and, and uh, doing harm. Um, and he did what he could. And, and so he didn't use an excuse. Um, you know, others in the book of Judges didn't make excuses uh, either. Um, even when the world didn't see them as somebody that could do anything. So maybe the world doesn't, maybe you don't see yourself as somebody who can do something. Maybe the world wouldn't look and say, wow, that person can do something about what's going on. Um, but uh, here's the thing. Um, the, in the book of Judges, there was people that, that uh, they, they followed after God when he called them to do something. Um, they followed God in a moment by moment kind of a way. And right now is one of those times where we all have to follow God in a moment-by-moment kind of way. Uh, we start right where we're at in our everyday lives, in our, in our homes, uh, wherever we're at. And we use what we have, whether it's uh, stuff to make a mask or uh, food to make a meal to, to deliver. Uh, or use a phone, a phone that we have to call somebody and just encourage them. Just talk with them so that they don't feel so alone. Um, and, and then do what you can. Um, make phone calls. Make meals if you can. Or just pray for people. Um, there's a lot of things that, that can be done and a lot of things God can use, uh, even though we might be quarantined at home. And so I hope this uh, is an encouragement for you. Uh, let me remind you of these people in the book of Judges. There was a, a lady named Deborah uh, at the time who, man, at the time women were not in leadership roles, but God used Deborah because she was willing to be used uh, to deliver Israel. There was a guy named Gideon. Gideon was a coward. He was afraid. Uh, but 
God used Gideon, and Gideon became brave. Um, there was a guy named Samson who was rebellious. He wanted to do it his own way, did what was right in his own eyes, and just rebelled against God over and over again. But uh, when he finally decided to follow God, God used him in a big way. Um, there was a guy named Ehud who was left-handed. And in that day, being left-handed was not a good thing. It was a, kind of a shameful thing. But because he was left-handed, God used him to deliver Israel from the king of Moab. And no right-handed person could have delivered Israel the way that Ehud did. There was another guy named Othiniel, and Othiniel was old. He was, he was past his prime, um, not a, a, a warrior kind of a guy uh, anymore. However, he had been in the past, and God used him in a way to deliver Israel because he was old. That's, that's why he was able to use him to deliver Israel. And so uh, let's put your name in there. Uh, how is it that God's going to use you during this quarantine time to do something amazing um, that, that you can look back and say, hey, you know what? God used me to do that. And I followed him moment by moment through that. And uh, I helped people. I helped a person. Uh, I did this. I prayed in that way. And so I just want to encourage you. Um, you know, remember God is big. He's much bigger than, than what we have going on in front of our faces. And so uh, let's follow after him and let's do our best to bless other people. I hope you've enjoyed the, the hymn sing and the short message, and I pray that you will be well this week. God bless you.